<laughs> so embarrassing. Mo had a really embarrassing moment the other day. Yeah, this is probably one of the most embarrassing things that have happened to me in years. So I'm um I'm working on a new project. It's like a little mini series thing that I want to do, and it involves a lot of filming. And anytime you are dealing with something that involves a lot of filming. I really don't have all of the patience in the world. Can, I l can we back up for just one second? Yeah, go ahead, sure. Can you tell us about this project? No, not okay. yet. Because <laughs> it's probably it's probably going to take me a while to finish it, and I don't want anybody to steal okay. my idea because I think it's really good. Gotcha. But the problem with working on, like, miniseries or anything like that, it's a lot of filming. The end result looks amazing. But the things that you have to do to get to that point, mm -hmm. I'm not really good at it. Davi can tell you that. She's experienced this firsthand when we were filming the Buster Brown video. He's very cranky. <laughs> yeah. um, uh, it's, I'm, not, I'm not the happiest guy in the world when it's just hours on hours yeah. of standing around and having to film and things of that nature. And that's what they say about TV or movies also, is that, you know, it's just a lot of standing. Davi can tell us this. It's a lot of standing around. Hurry it's, up and wait. Hurry up. Up and wait, man. Everybody's in their trailers, hanging out and waiting and waiting. Then you do it like one scene, one cut. It's over in a couple of minutes, and then it's hours of waiting again. So, question: uh -huh. If you know this about yourself, why in the world would you sign up for a miniseries? See, because the thing <laughs> again, I love the the final product. Like, okay. I, I'm, I, I love all the things that you can do with video. Like, it looks great when it's done. It's just all of the work that goes into it. Yeah, not so much a fan. <laughs> like, I, I wish you could go and just do a take and just go sit down and be done. But see, I'm not at the point where you get trailers yet. You don't get trailers. You just get the car you arrived in, and I don't have a car. So I find myself just waiting outside in the sun for hours for the next take, and it sucks. What I do love about Mo is that he will challenge himself all the time. So I can see, even if it's something that you don't like doing, I can see you challenging yourself to go ahead and do it. Exactly. And it's failing. And it's failing miserably <laughs> because I'm not the kind of guy that can hide it. When I'm, like, frustrated or I'm, I'm not the happiest guy, like, I can't hide it. Like, every Everybody knows I try to hide it. I think I'm doing a great job of it, but everybody's like, no, you're not. You look miserable. You feel miserable, and it's showing up. So we get to this one point of, like, we, we, we're going toward the end now. And once we get toward the end, I'm even more cranky, right? We've been out here for hours. It's hot. I'm really done with all of this. So they have to keep miking me up. They don't have the greatest equipment. So, like, every time I move, I make any kind of movement, they're fixing my mic. So I'm not used to being mic'd up, and I don't realize that there's, like, a team of producers who are all being able to listen into everything I'm doing and saying whether we're <laughs> filming or not. Right? That's how they work on the Real Housewives, man. The ladies sometimes think their mic packs are turned off, but they're not, and we get to hear all the all the tea they're saying about each That's other. That's where the good stuff comes in, man. Exactly. Yeah. And so I'm a rookie at this. I'm not used to this, so I'm at a point where we're about to film like the last scene, right? And I all of a sudden my stomach just starts. <laughs> Is that hunger? <laughs> no, it ain't hunger. That's the bubble guts. I, I, I already ate. It's the thing that comes after. Oh, okay. So oh. I'm at this point of. Like I'm like, listen, how long is this going to take? I got to go to the bathroom like right now. And he's like, oh, no, it's fine. We're only going to film a couple more things. It'll probably take another 15 minutes. I'm, I don't have oh, 15 minutes. That, I don't, and I don't that's what it. producers love to tell you also, if you're on a set. It's just going to be 15 minutes. When... Everybody knows it's going to be an hour. 15 minutes is at least two hours. Right? It's a little bit like when you're running a 5K and you're all out of breath and people on the sides are going, hey, it's just 100 yards away. You're almost there. No, it's not. It's another mile. That's what I told them. I'm like, don't lie to me because it's going to be an accident that happens in here and it's going to be some misunderstandings if I sit here for another hour. And I'm frustrated with the producers at this point because they've been lying to me for a good four or five hours now. And then I'm at the point where I'm thinking, I hired all these people. Why am I listening to them? I'm going to the bathroom. I'll be right back. So I go. I take off all my little equipment. I go to the bathroom, and I'm thinking I got some privacy, right? So I get to the bathroom, and I'm going to just and be honest with y'all, because if they had to know, y'all had to know. It was one of those sit down, and it sounded like an entire explosion started <laughs> happening in the bathroom. It wasn't my best moment at all. I mean, it's like everything is exploding. Right. It's so much noise happening in this bathroom that I never wanted anybody else to know that I've ever experienced in my life. And I'm cursing the producers out on top of it. I'm like, I'm tired of this. I don't know why I'm doing this. These people are idiots. I don't even know why I'm here. You're talking to yourself. I'm, I'm just venting. You're I'm on the toilet venting to yourself. I'm on the toilet <laughs> venting to myself over the explosions that are coming out of my stomach. <laughs> and I am ripping everybody. Like, everybody. I'm ripping the people I invited. Oh, yeah, I'm just, you're ripping all right. Yeah, I'm, I'm ripping and running. <laughs> and I'm not thinking anything of it until I go to leave and a little pack falls out my jeans oh. and reminds me that I'm mic'd up the entire <laughs> time. I am I am mic'd up and I'm have a moment of just sitting there looking at the mic like no. 
<laughs> no, please tell me. And the red light is on. So now I have to walk out of this bathroom <laughs> and back into this place where all of the producers and all of the people I'm filming with are just standing there. And I thought maybe they would like play it off and act like they didn't hear anything. Yeah. Now they wanted me to know. Oh, uh, they did wanted they? me. They heard every <laughs> single thing. I walk out the bathroom and it's just this awkward silence of everybody just looking at me like, uh huh. Uh, so I'm, 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 I'm what kind of idiot i was like nah man i was playing i knew y'all could hear me it was it was it was sounds with my with my mouth yeah it was practice yeah it wasn't even the real thing you guys no no but you said you paid for all that right yeah all right then who cares I mean, yeah, I, I just was awkward. It was awkward to call all these people idiots over my embarrassing moment in the bathroom and know that they heard every part of it. it Is was, your tummy okay now? It's a little better right now. now. Yeah, thank you. The Burt Show.